You know what? Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Kamanatin Shabai. How is everyone doing? Good. Good, good, good. Thank you. It's a hot day. Great New York City summer day. Um, thank you all for joining us uh, here for this very, very important conversation that we want to have. After that, I'm going to talk to you about mix of things, but I'm going to talk to you about how to improve their speech development of early intervention in uh, subjects. So, today's whole event our wife planned for it, because we all know that we have a little girl in the house. And we have a little girl in the house, but before that, our wife has been thinking about this field. We have a lot of food in our hands, such as SAT, Specialized High School, and common core. So, when we have a lot of food, we have a lot of food, and we have a lot of experts in the house, so we have a lot of food, ज्योतो विभिन्न भावे शायद जो दौड़ रहे थे पारे अपना आमादे एक्सपर्ट्स थे के पारे। सो अमी शाबाश आते आस्था से इंट्रोडक्शन कर बो। प्रथमे अमार आमादे शाते आसे डॉक्टर इलार रफीक एमडीएमपीएच। शी इज द लीडर एट नर्वान इंटरग्रेटिव मेडिसिन। आई विल पास द माइक्रोफोन टू हर सो शी कैन से अ लिटिल Thank you, Ivan. So, I'm a doctor in the panel, but actually, I have a personal experience. Uh, about four years ago, I was about two and a half, two, I was able to speak to my speech. And even I have a medical knowledge, and even in the community, I have a lot of openness to my speech. I have a lot of Acta community mod hekta workshop and the hole what to acta really it's just a blessing Amadir Janno. So thank you so much, Ivan. So thank you so much, Dr. Rafiq. To the left of Dr. Rafiq is someone I've known for almost my whole life. She's one of my sisters on the panel. I have two on the panel today. Uh, so she is uh, her name uh, Taibina Min Deb. She's a health advisor of the Department uh, Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. And I'll uh, pass the microphone to give her introduction. Assalamu alaikum. Hi. How are you? Uh, my name is Taibina. I work for the Department of Health. I'm one of the health advisors uh, for the maternal infant reproductive health um, services that they have. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, I'm really happy that you guys allowed me to come here and s spread all the information that I can for you guys. So I'm hoping to get, um, you know, a I'm hoping to be able to help you guys uh, open up here today and talk about if any, any, any of your children have any kind of issues with delays, speaking. Uh, hopefully we'll be here to help you answer some of these questions and make you feel more aware about early intervention. Thank you. Thank you. To Ms. Deb's left is my other sister on the stage today, is uh, Sadia Syed. Sadia Said is the Director of Clinical Services at Support by Design in um, New York City. Uh, like many of us here, she's also originally from Queens. I'm on the remote of Queens, okay? I'm okay to microphone the teacher. Hi, everyone. I thank you so much, Ivana Nipa, for organizing this. This is amazing. I am the owner and the Director of Support by Design. We are a tertiary agency and we provide free speech, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and speech therapy, I'm not sure if I said that, <laughs> for children from zero to 21 years old. Right? And for our final member on our expert panel, Ms. Farhana Faruqi is the language pathologist at the City Sounds of Bilinguage bilingual speech uh, pathologist at the City Sounds of New York. Please join me in welcoming the Ms. Farhana Faruqi. 
Hi everyone, I'm Farhana and I am a bilingual speech language pathologist as Ivan was saying. Um, I currently work at City Sounds of New York. Um, so we're an agency uh, similar to um, what she was saying, we except we only provide really um, speech and language services um, for preschool and um, elementary school, middle school, high school. So that's what I'm currently doing. And then in the past, I had worked in early intervention for about two years. Um, and what I would love to do for the community is to just give back and help in any way that I can, just to bring more awareness to our services and um, just to help everyone the best that I can. So if you have any questions. Thank you so much, Ms. Faruqi. I'd like to also introduce our moderator for uh, the panel discussion later. Ms. Isra Talk is a member of the CONS team. She's actually majoring in spe speech pathology and uh, soon to be graduating from her program at St. John's uh, during the week. Besides working at uh, CONS, she's also working uh, in the field actively as she gains her clinical experience. I'll give her the mic. Hi everyone, Salam My name is Isra, as Ivan said before. I'm currently going to be a senior, um, getting my BA in speech language pathology and audiology. So when Nipa and Ivan brought up the idea of hosting a workshop like this, I was on board, just because I want to give back to my community any way I can, and I think this is an amazing opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Isra. And of course, the final introduction is for the person responsible for today's event. Uh, Ms. Uh, Tasneem uh, Khan is a master's degree from Columbia University with a, in MPH in public health. Despite her background being in computer science and public health, she spends a lot of her time looking out for problems in our community that we know that we can help fix. Or so, Ms. Tasneem Khan. Thank you everyone for being here. I know it's not easy um, to be here. Um, and the reason we really put this together was because, um, you know, we were facing a lot of challenges. Onik um, Shachilo with Ian. And, you know, there were so many people who were telling us, nah, you know, uh, kids, boys speak later than girls. Nah, uh, uh, don't worry, um, he'll grow out of it. Uh, just wait. Um, and we just wanted to dispel those myths and say, you know, if you feel as a mother or as a father, hey, there's something that's, um, that, that's not right. And you, you need to take them to the doctor. First, get them to the physician, tell them um, what your suspicions are, and um, you know we're gonna be talking about all of the signs and the milestones that you should be looking out for. We're gonna uh, tell you what types of um, red flags to look out for uh, as well. Um, and then if you see something, we're gonna tell you step by step exactly what you need to do to get free services to help your child get the services that they deserve. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to start. If you don't have any questions, we'll start the presentation. The presentation is in the section of the section. If you don't have any questions, 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 then you can give us a question. Okay? Let's start. One second. And one more thing. Presentation printout assets. If you don't have any questions, I am we have a few extra here. 
चिकित्सा कर मोटामोटी खूब सुंदर भावी फिल कर मन हमारा समस्या मन एडमिट करते कष्ट इट्स हार्ड टू फेस 
Tarporeo, is speech delay connected to anything else? Is something worse wrong? Let me just wait and hope and pray. So, because of this, we took a long time, and he was getting worse. The time was passing, and oh, bhalo hachena. Ulta or boyshona jai onik komi Next slide, please. So, finally, aray bachar, tin bachar, pochar, pore, Ami, amar wife, shahosh niye, Dr. Katsi Fire, bollam, je, he needs help, akon ki kora jai. Amra gata bachar, try maasha ke, naay maasha ke, shuni nai, thik mata, akon ki kora jai. evaluation <laughs> 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 A portion is Shuru Kurlam. Astaste, Dimash, Tinmash, Speech Therapy, the Declam, J. O. Berejatse, Shundar Habekota Batse. Finally, how long, how does he even start to speak? Oh, it's it? actually John Dinbutcher. We said it was February. <laughs> February. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And maybe, does anyone want to have uh, uh, take uh, uh, no, no, uh, 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 এত সময় লাগে নাই এত সময় লাগে নাই যখন শুরু করছে স্পিচ থেরাপিটা আমরা দেখছি অনেক তাড়াতাড়ি ও হঠাৎ করে কথা বলতেছে তো অনেক তাড়াতাড়ি হয়ে যায় আর আমরা নেই নাই ডাক্তার যখন ও দুই বছর হইছে আমরা ডাক্তারের কাছে গেছি আমরা ডাক্তারের কাছে গেছিলাম so, Anka, Anka, uh, Moho, please help us go to the back classroom and you can give him a bottle of water and you can help Ms. Dia come. Are you going Hi, welcome. Thanks so much. We have some uh, private rooms. So, anyone who wants to help, just kind of give them some time. Can we describe what happens? Okay. So, Akon, Amra, Amra, Akon, excuse me. Um, um, আমরা আস্তে আস্তে ওরা একটু বোঝাবে আমরা কি দেখছি চোখের সামনে আমাদের বাড়ি তো আমাদের নিজের ছেলে মেয়েদের নিয়ে এরকম প্রায় সময় হয় কিন্তু এটা তো আমাদের জন্য কোনো নিউ না আমাদের নিজের বাড়িতে সব সময় এরকম দেখি তো এটা নিয়ে একটু ওরা একটু বুঝবে এক্সপার্টসরা তারপর আমরা আরো আরম্ভ করব আসলে এটা একটা কিন্তু ফাইন एग्जांपल um amar nijer chhelero jokhon khub choto thakte school e beshi mat oi playground e jokhon oder recess thakto so many children one big space onik noise always orakta mane somoshya chilo too much noise onik shomoy hat gulo kaner upore dito amra kintu bujhi nai ar also in the meantime ekta to ekta behavior dakha jacche tai na amra to oke boka dibo ba kichu amra to mone korte si ekta behavioral problem Ashla Totana or brain genotome wiring is diverse, it's different. Not abnormal, different kind of brain. So sensory uh, stimuli, Jeshob Amrato is a microphone and Kothatashun Tepari. Kono Amadir Mane problem Hotsena. Kinto or Nishtui a loudspeaker, microphone and Awaj and also echo, Jekta Hotse. He can probably hear much higher pitch. 
because only one person was talking, not a lot. But in playground, large environments, concert, loud music, movie theater, or the arcade, video arcade, jokon niya jai bata den, eglu kinto the jono kubi koshto. So this is something called sensory overload. Our oishmar monte ashle kinto quiet space. Ora she jono oibhabe kinto choose kore. Ora kinto akla boshte chai. Then na onik shomai amato khelai the chai. Let's go to an arcade and do it. But they choose to be on their own because other jono koshto pai. So actually, it was very nice for us to take a break and let him be comfortable. Thank you. So thank you, Ivan. Thank you. And honestly, it's a blessing. আমাদের সামনে যে এটা হয়েছে এখন আমাদের আকারও আমাদের নিজের বাড়িতে হলে লজ্জা সরাম কিছু বাকি থাকবে না কারণ এটা তো সবারই আমাদের হয় আর আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি বুঝতে পাচ্ছি যে এরকম সিচুয়েশন হলে শাসন মানে ও আমরা আমি সেই কারণে আমরা সঙ্গে সঙ্গে আমাদের ডাক্তারদের গ্রুপ থেকে আমি একটু পাঠিয়েছি কারণ শাসন তো দরকার হচ্ছে না ও একটু ভিতর থেকে এনভায়রনমেন্টে আপসেট তো হতেই পারবে so, I'm going to continue to work on it. I'm going to go to the end of the day, and I'm going to go to the end of the day, and I'm going to go to the end of the day. But, I'm going to go to the end of the day, I'm going to go to the end of the day, and I'm going to go to the end of the day, and I'm going to go to the end of the day. Alright, so I'm going to आज की चोला आज की कारण आम्रा किंतु अनेक लोग शुरू जुट थाके, New York State, New York City, अनेक अनेक free services थाक दे, और आमदे एक तो कपाल भालो जाम्रा Long Island ए दिके दो ही मिनट दूरे, तो आमदे वो खाने उन्नो बेशी population नहीं जामदे झगड़ करते हो चे services नहीं, कि तामदे आरेक पौन जोखों Queens ए भालो वाला का थे के speech therapist evaluation ही तो ह ओरा बोल लो जना ऐसे ना टॉनिक जोन वेट करते हैं, ओरा तुम्हारे चले में ठीक है ऑनिक हार्ब हो बसता है, ओरा आगे पावे। तार माने ना तो आमदर पावे जी, so when we're fighting for the service, speech therapist, they have to fight two months, three months, and then sometimes they say no, we have to keep fighting for more. so those were the things that my wife and I didn't have to deal with ओरा कुम भावे, कि तो आम्रा तो जानी है, आम्रा तो शारा शब्द तो ऐसे नहीं आम्रा कटा ची Jackson had to go in the Jamaica to the Bronx, the shop jaga. So, I'm going to talk to you about it. My father, my father, what do you do in this situation? So, I'm going to talk to you about it. And the most important thing is that this is the most important thing that you don't have to criticize any of your friends. As long as we can do this, we can face it. It's not our parents. It's not our parents. कोनो छेले मेर कोनो दोष ना ये खाने आर इटा जब हमरा फ्रीली कथा बोलते पार बो इटा आमदे जुन्नो को भी एक इम्पोर्टेंट जायगा का नामदे कल्चर ऑनिशन में एक बार नियालो चना होय ना ठीक आचे अकोन आपने देखना क्यों आपना पेरेंट्स होय तो निश्चय जाने ना आपने छेले मेरे डेवलपमेंट प्रत्येक बुस्टर से जे आपने देखो नो आई शंधा चाहे फीलिंग आचे जे आप तो डिले थकते पड़े आपने देर आशे पाशे नेबर आ की उल्टा बोलचे आर द नेबर्स सेइंग नो इट्स फाइन दिस इज़ फाइन विल फिक्स इट्सेल्फ ही विल गेट बेटर एवरीथिंग विल बी फाइन आर यू अवेयर ऑफ़ द फ्री सर्विसेज आम देर कहने जाता ह और जो दिन माना करे कि हमें जहाँ घर पर आवार आद माना आदा ही करते सर्विस टा, तो एक आन अमर शामें ऐसी थी, नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज, तो ये शामें आपने देखी के पोषण ही हो, जी, इकने कार्ड जोन में पोषण बोल, I have two questions, one for you, one for Dr. Hilara, please. Okay, Dr. Hilara, you mentioned that your child was on sensory yeah. Right. Well, did you try your sensory diet program with him? Yes, and I will discuss some of that. And when the child was being diagnosed with his delay and other development delays, was he diagnosed with a PDD? Yes, PDD and OS. And how, what was your reaction at that point being a professional as a mother? Um, I can, um, is there a microphone so that everyone can hear me? Can everyone hear me? I can I'm going to give back to you now. Okay. 
So, uh, Uncle is also an expert in the community, so they're having oh, some uh, conversations around best practices. Uh, uh, Dr. Lara will uh, I, um, share the answer. Hi, me, actually, as a physician, I studied internal medicine for adults. So I don't have a pediatric background. But when I um, had this situation, I'm um, a actually longtime colleague and pediatric community also were not as, um, they were not as advanced. In fact, they didn't actually ask me to do an assessment. I did that myself. I actually went ahead and did the research. I tried to become an expert because I didn't know this. Um, at that time, about 15 years ago, it wasn't as well talked about. This uh, knowledge that you have about sensory diet is very recent, but I actually did see, teach myself everything I needed. And then when he was diagnosed, I actually expedited that because initially, um, Ashley can do initially, everybody goes through the EI per intervention, but it was a long wait for where we lived. So I didn't want to wait. I actually knew he needed speech pathology. And uh, thankfully at that time we were able to pay out of pocket and I didn't delay and I got him into speech first and then started to do some of the OT as well. Tarpore, I'm a developmental neurologist, a pediatric specialist, Jara Eseskure. To make the diagnosis, actually you have to get an appointment with a physician who specializes in this type of neurology for developmental issues. And then once they diagnose the PDD-NOS, or that really means it can be any type of autistic spectrum feature. Doesn't mean that it's autism, but it's NOS, not other specified. So it's, there are features of that condition and that will actually allow the services to start to roll in. Actually, we diagnosis charakin to services dibeona, taina. So I actually had to start that because actually delay was to get the assessment. Mm -hmm. And I started that at age uh, two, 18 months I saw the changes and at two I started and he was able within a few weeks to start speech therapy and OT. And then I'm our background holo internal medicine, but I learned a lot outside of the medical community from an integrative holistic perspective. And I looked at the gut brain access and um, the new information is now old information, it's all validated now. There's a, a inflammation in the brain, but also inflammation in the, the gut or the digestive tract. Or there actually kinto do get inflammation chota sa. A root cause to judi na apnatikoren speech and OT are gonna be very helpful, but the root cause is the real issue. So actually sensory diet is not a given for every child because there are so many nuances. Shopki took into individualized Kora Dorkar, Shabair Onik allergy evaluation, because they have a lot of food sensitivities and allergies. My child was eating plenty of milk and dairy. So that was his thing, milk, cheese, and dairy. And I thought it was a very healthy diet. Like, when it was a growth, milk cuts it. It was a kid, obsessively, right? There's an obsession with just milk. And I learned from an integrative pediatrician in Rhinebeck, his name is Kenneth Bach. Uh, there are plenty of really good resources. And at that time, he suggested gluten-free and casein-free diet, which I followed. And immediately I saw a lot of changes in even handwriting and his able, ability to speech. And I implemented um, a dietary change along with the other changes. And you know, mashallah, he's now 17 and he's in high school. And I'm hoping also for him to continue on to college. So, but the biggest thing is what Nipa said earlier. They actually get to Mababa director intuition. Into problem hotel, we need support from community, we need support from our family, we need support from professionals, but if you know something is wrong, that's your gut. And then I have to really follow that. And I look to our mother, child is your number one advocate is parent. And if you don't know something, learn about it, just like I did from scratch. Audience, next segment 
Next segment, we have a lot of knowledge. Does anybody else uh, want to contribute? Sure. I want to add something. We have a few additions. Uh, I just wanted to add what uh, Dr. Laura was saying. I think there's a huge stigma about the word autism in our community. And we kind of tippy-toe around it. We call it sensory this. But I think we have to embrace autism. And also, from a technical standpoint, if your child is diagnosed with autism, you will get a lot more services. So, and you'll qualify much faster. Um, so I think it's important because we are talking about social stigmas to really think about how we put autism in the community. I'd actually just like to add to what she was saying and what Dr. Um, Laura was saying that um, regardless of uh, what you feel like your child has, I think the biggest thing is just advocating. You know, you're not sure what they have, but just you need, as even um, Dr. Um, Ivan was saying too, like you need to really fight. Like you need to advocate for your child and your family and the community. And regardless of what it is, you know, just embrace it and just educate people, you know, just so they understand. And then maybe if they recognize in someone else, they can recommend it to someone else. Because I feel like um, before uh, these kinds of seminars, that's what I would do. I would be in the Bengali community and someone would like come up to me and be like, oh, like I see this, like can you look at this? Um, you know, because they feel more comfortable <coughs> speaking to um, another you know, Bengali person, but, you know, sometimes it's too late, they're a lot older, so, you know, but as a community, if someone recognizes something, you know, they shouldn't, you know, shun them, they should just, you know, advocate for them and just try their best to help everyone. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Yeah. Next section, what's the next section? I have a problem. তখন ওরা বলতো যে যদি ঢিলে হয় এটা সারা জীবন থেকে যাবে ভালো জব পাবে না ভালো স্কুলে যেতে পারবে না বাট আমার ছেলে আলিফ ফ্রম খান হাই স্কোর আর আর গোয়িং টু দ্য স্টার আইসন I took the services for our intervention in 18 months my son didn't talk to word also my teacher said teacher come the home and you know but uh, neighbor about the oh, how can a good job be? Not a salary board they could take a job. Salary board can they? How much school they get? Bar be na, ita ha be, ota ha be. But I mean, I mean, listen, puri nahi. And today, I mean, and Ali was the highest scorer. Kinto an shop credit kinto ma or Baba or car na na car. ওরা যে ঠিক মতো নেবারদের কথা ইগনোর করেছে এই সব ক্রেডিট কিন্তু আন্টি আর আঙ্কেলের না না ছোটকালে ছোটকালে যখন ওটা বলেছে যে বড় হয়ে এটা পারবে না আপনি যে ওদের কথা হ্যাঁ সো আমরা নেক্সট সেকশনে চলে চলে যাই আমাদের একটু পরে আমাদের আটটা পার্সন থাকবে যে আরো পড়াশোনার জন্য এটা মিস কিপা লিড করবে হ্যালো एवरीवन Okay, so this is going to be the next section. Um, it's going to talk, I'm going to talk about milestones from age birth to five years of age. Next slide. Okay, so we printed out these slides for you because this is a point of reference. This stuff, we don't expect you to memorize it. In fact, I haven't even memorized it. But there are certain things that you should look out for in your child as they're growing older. So for example, at three months of age, does your child respond to your voice? If not, maybe you should think about um, bringing that up to your physician, right? Um, are they smiling? Are they interacting with, with you or with others? Um, are they, in terms of motor movements, are they lifting their heads? Do they have good neck control? Those are the kinds of things you should be looking out for. At six months of age, you want to make sure that um, the child is starting to sit up, right? Um, if they're not, then that's something that you bring up to your physician, to your child's uh, pediatrician. Um, are they imitating speeches? Are they making mama, papa, dada, nana? Are they making those noises? If not, again, uh, refer to your pediatrician. Next slide. At 12 months of age, again, are they getting to a sitting position? 12 months of age is where I noticed something was going on with Ian. 
I'm sorry, I'm probably going to start tearing up, but I got this. Um, so this is when I noticed something was going on. With his sister, his sister started talking very early. She started talking at four months. I'm not kidding you. Her first word was Abu. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ariana. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but Abu, yeah. And then she went on to Dada and Nana. You can point to people and she would say, oh, that's Nana, that's Dada. So she was very, very advanced. So I didn't see that in Ian, but I thought, uh, you know, Ariana's advanced. He's just typically growing. By 12 months, though, he wasn't pointing to things. He, If I was saying, um, you know, chok ko thai chok, muk ko thai muk, nak ko thai nak, Ariana was able to do, you know, knock, mook, joke. Ian wouldn't even look at me. He wouldn't even make eye contact with me. Initially, at three months, six months, he would smile. Then he started losing that, and he would stop smiling. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So at 18 months of age, they should be saying at least six words. Okay, so six words, um, he wasn't saying those words. Um, following simple directions, he wasn't following directions. He, if I told him, please put on your shoes, or please stand up, he didn't know what I was saying. He didn't understand. Um, if I pointed to a picture in a book and I said, Idaki, he should say car, gari. He didn't even look at it. He should be able to do that at 18 months. Um, he started walking a little late, but it's fine. He started walking at 15 months, but um, we also noticed that he had low muscle tone, right? His teachers would say it. He went to nursery school early. So his teachers would say, hey, um, you know, when, when I touch him, his muscles are not it does, it's not strong, it's very weak, you know? After a month, we had to go to Montessori. We had to teacher to say, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? The teacher to say, what is constipated? Or what is fiber darker? Probiotics? If you do this, you will have to go to our class. If you want to go to our class, you will have to go to our class. So, oi teacher, amader borrow made jonno jato kichu korte pareche. Ian er jonno ekdom bad fit chilo. Ar asta asta Ian okhane aro frustrated hot chilo, aro karna kati ane almost bud mona hot chhe be be ekta depression er moto. Tokhon theke or principal or office amader ke eshe bollo, let's try him at Miss Sarah's class. Maybe Miss Jones' class fit isn't right for Ian. A lot of kids transfer to Miss Sarah's class and have a better development. So Takhani, myself, Nipa, Amraj Bolam, of course, please move him immediately to Miss Sarah's class. Miss Sarah is one of the best, wonderful teachers we've ever uh, experienced. Because Miss Sarah is also a parent of an 18 year old dealing with speech delays and developmental delays. She has the background as a mom, has the background as an educator. So, talk on thinking. I'm a little chilly. Got a participation. As that's the hashita fiesta. So, oh, you show my time on the journey to cost to legacy. Cost to show my karma business in our petty kitchen. I got mind the kitchen. Our Amar family tamar choto or actor choto casino at it. Or choto casino act them a keep have a speech delay. What to me? So, Jotogula school chilo or a jokon declo borrow higher ear. Just for make sure that our teacher is not So, we have 18 months. Uh, next one. Our two years, we have a shop. Shuru, Jokon Buste Parchi. We have a lot of people who are in so um, at two years of age, that's when we went to her pediatrician. Oh, sorry. 
That's where. That's when we went to um, his uh, pediatrician, and the pediatrician was asking, "Oh, does he speak in two-word sentences?" In fact, what he did was he had something called echolalia. Okay, so echolalia is when you hear someone say something and you echo it back. You say the same thing back. Okay, so um, he would say he would recite um, songs from TV or um, recite uh, dialogue from cartoons. Right. So a lot of you are nodding your head because you understand what I'm saying. So I thought. So if I said, "Oh, Ian, what's your name?" He would say, "Oh, Ian, what's your name?" That's echolalia. He wouldn't say, my name is Ian. Okay? So that is not communication. That means he doesn't understand what is being said. He has a receptive disorder. Right? So um, that's what we were dealing with. And I mistakenly thought, oh, he knows how to talk. He can speak in two word sentences. He can speak in huge sentences. Right? But I didn't realize, no, that's not communication. He's just a parrot. He's parroting back what I'm saying. Okay? So, um, I think, it, so that was at two years of age. At three years of age, um, he finally got his services. He started getting services, right? Um, and within months, he started speaking properly. Um, but still, he's four and a half now. He cannot ride a tricycle. He can't do that. But at three, you should be able to ride a tricycle. Um, with when he interacts socially with people, it, he has a very hard time. He gets sensory overload, um, or he needs a routine, right? Yes. So, gato kalke, our last night, baro ghanta, atro ghanta age. Our friend der bacha ne ashche. Friend ta ye ne the ek bachor baro. Hatta bor boner shatte onik beshi khelse. So, we have to attention to the people who are the people who are in the world. We have to pay attention to the people who are in the world. We have to it's late in the day. We have to pay attention to the people who are in the world. We have to pay attention to Exactly. Thank you, Ivan. Um, so at three years of age, they should be using three to five word sentences. Look out for that kind of stuff. Okay? Next slide. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm not going to go through too much of this, but at four years of age, um, they should be starting to tell stories. Um, you know, uh, what? Di how was your day today? What did you do? Ian Akono Beshi Palokorobulta Parana into a chest which is which I love. And I also talk to him a lot. First, uh, so I'll say, um, I'll tell Ariana, for example, hey Ariana, his older sister, what did you do today? And then she'll say, oh, first I went to school, then I played in the playground, then I came home, and then I went to karate. Then he'll see. He'll, he'll copy her and he'll say, oh, first I went to school, then I came home, then I watched TV. So uh, using siblings or um, using friends or just talking to them constantly, they'll understand. They'll start to understand, um, you know, what they need to say. Okay, next. Um, and at five years of age, um, they should be speaking clearly. Um, they should be printing letters and numbers, using a fork and a spoon. What I've noticed in the Bangladeshi community, um, no offense, but we do things for our kids. Don't do things for them. Let them be independent. Let them do it on their own. I know sometimes we're in a rush and we want to just leave, go to work. The juta paraide. No, let them put on their shoes on their own. Let them put on their shirts, take off their shirts, put it in the hamper. They have to learn to do it by themselves or else they'll never gain the strength or the independence um, to do it on their own. So those are things that you guys should be looking out for. And I mean, I'm going to look out for it too. Um, so that's the end of the milestone segment. Does anybody have any questions about this? Yes. 
दावते दूर स्ट्रागल करते दूर हजार लोक जीवन जुद्ध जीवन जुद्ध रेंटे टाइम दावतना शक्त परीक्षा <laughs> जीवन थप्पा प्रचुर चिकित्सा बट ये बच्चों 
আল্লাহর উপরে আমি তো ছেড়েই দিয়েছি আমরা তো কেউ কিছুই না সোহানা তালা আল্লাহর কাছে বাট দোয়া এবং দাওয়া তাই না তো আজকে শিখলাম কিভাবে হেল্প করতে পারবো শিখলাম কিভাবে সিটি সমাজ আমাদেরকে হেল্প করতে পারবে অ্যান্ড ছোটোখাটো জিনিস আমাদের সমাজের জন্য একে অপর থেকে শিখলাম যে দহন যখন তুমি দেখবে একটা বাচ্চার সমস্যা আছে আনটা মেরে লোকের সামনে বাপ মাকে দুঃখ দিয়ে থার্ড পার্সনের বিয়েতে ঈদের দাওয়াতে রোজার ইফতারের ইফতারের দাওয়াতে আনটা মেরে কথাটা না বলে বাট ওরা যে অপূর্বভাবে ইমানের সাথে মানে খেয়ারিংভাবে যে বলেছে বোন আসতে ভাবে আল হেল্প ইউ তুমি একা না ইউ আর নাট লোন এটাই আমাদের সবার শেখার উচিত অ্যাবাউট এভরিথিং শুধু এই ব্যাপারে না সবার সব কত লোকের কত বুকে কষ্ট আছে আমরা তো জানি না মানুষের তো অনেক কষ্ট থাকে বা এই বাচ্চাদের কষ্ট তো অন্য রকমের কষ্ট তাই না সো একে অপরে আমরা সবাই একত্রে আছি আমরা সবাই একসাথে আছি আমরা সবাই একসাথে একা একে অপরের জন্য আছি বা আল্লাহর কাছে লাখ শুকর এদের জন্য আমি নিজের মনে কথাটা বলতেছি যে আমার বাচ্চাদেরকে যে ধরে ধরে ফেলতে ধরে ফেলতে পেরেছে থ্রি থ্রি অ্যান্ড হ্যাফ এটার জন্য আমি ওদের জন্য সারা জীবন সারা জনম আমি ওদের প্রতি গ্রেট ফল থ্যাংক ইউ Thank you, Krishma, for those, uh, th that beautiful story. And I'm glad that we can help each other. I'm glad that we can help each other. Because at the end of the day, you need people that support you, right? That understand what you're going through. So you can talk about this stuff to people who are going through the same exact thing. It's not easy to go through this. How are we supposed to help our kids if we can't help ourselves? You have to take care of your mentality, too. Okay. Um, did you guys want to say anything? Okay. Um, sometimes we don't know where to go, who to look for when we need, we need service. So it could be as simple as calling 311. All you have to say is, uh, I need help. I need, I need someone to come assess my child. I feel they're having some, you know, delay, any kind of issues you feel. You know your, your, your child. Nobody else knows, I'm sorry. I'm a little okay. sensitive right now too. But simple as 311, that's all. And somebody will come assess at your house, at your time, for free. It's free service. From zero to three years old, free service. And if it's, if they're after, if it's after three, you get the preschool, uh, other assessment that's available for you as well. Okay? So please call if you feel any kind of delay with your child. That's all. Please. You guys can contact me anytime for any early intervention program. Oh, I've been working for early intervention for the last 19 years. Mm -hmm. And here we have our Ahmed Bhai. He's an AVA, very experienced, for 19 years. I know him. Great one. I have my reference, my card, and my companies, you know. Uh, yes. Here you go. Thank so you we are coming. there anytime. Jan, Bak, Jan, no problem, Mati, after respect, Karen, I'm a card deed, even I'm a contact number. I'm there for my community. Thank you. No problem. Are there any more questions, or um, does anyone want to say any last words before we move on to the next section? Okay. So, when to act early. So, this is similar to the milestones, but this is. What, when you see certain red flags, what are those red flags? So number one, um, autism, right? If your child has autism, that's when you get most of those services that your child needs. You go to your physician um, and you call early intervention or you call um, CPSC. We're gonna go through all the different types of uh, services that the state provides. Deafness, deaf blindness, hearing impairment, intellectual disability, learning disability, disability, speech and language impairment, visual impairment, traumatic brain injury. Next slide. Next slide. So um, these things I'm not gonna go through too much just because it's very similar to the milestones, but if your child, if your one-year-old isn't pointing to things, Ian wasn't pointing to things, that's when you go to your pediatrician. If they're not saying mama or that, you go to your pediatrician. 
Next slide. 18 months old. If your 18 month old cannot walk, if you see motor issues, that is an issue. You have to take them to the pediatrician or call 311. You should do both um, and try to help them as much as possible. Um, one thing that I noticed with Ian was when I would when he was playing by himself and I would try to talk to him, I would say, Ian, Ian, he wouldn't respond. It's as if he was, I, I thought he was, uh, he had hearing issues. He would never look. When you hear your name, you should always look, right? It's an instinct that you develop um, as a child, but he never developed it um, at that age. So that's a red flag that you should look out for. Um, and of course, if they're losing skills that they once had. So Ian did lose skills. He used to be very happy, very engaging, and then he wasn't. And he was always by himself, always reciting the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Bar, bar, over and over and over again, repeating it. It's called stimming. That's what he would do. So if you see him playing, but he's playing in an um, atypical way, or he's obsessed with something, then that is a red flag, okay? Moving on. Two, uh, if your uh, two-year-old doesn't use those two-word phrases, right, then that's an issue. And um, with speech therapy, uh, in particular, um, according to research, and you guys can correct me um, on this, that's the thing that really helps a lot. Um, so get your child as much speech therapy as possible if they can't um, speak uh, or understand um, uh, properly what you're saying. If they're not walking steadily. So Ian, he needs speech therapy, he needs occupational therapy, and he needs physical therapy. And he also had special education when he first started off. So when he would walk, this is how he would walk. He would limp. Okay, um, if he would go up the steps, he wouldn't go two steps like this, like marching, right? Um, he would just use one leg and go up the steps like that. That's not um, typical. They should be using two legs, um, alternating their legs going up the steps. Okay, these are small things, but it's something that um, is important to look out for. And we wouldn't necessarily think to look for them, but if you don't see it, it's a red flag. Okay. Is that from Bala a little bit? Yes. So, like you said, we said, so, I'm going to go to the house. 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 So, the slow leg lagging and the, the other small things. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So, Bhagish. যখন ও জানতে পারলো আমার কিন্তু এগুলা জানা চেনা ভয়ের ছোট আমি জানতে চেতন না এত ফিয়ার ছিল আমার কিন্তু ও সাহস নিয়ে এগুলা জেনে জেনে প্রত্যেক দিন দুই দিন রাত পর পর এটা নিয়ে আলোচনা করতে শুরু করতে তো এইভাবে আমরা ইএনকে আগাতে পেরেছি তো এই ছোট ছোট জিনিসগুলো আপনারা জোর করে খেয়াল করবেন থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ইভান ওকে নেক্সট স্লাইড থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ স্রাত um, three years old, they should be understanding simple instructions. If they don't want to play with other kids, that's a social um, issue and that's something that is a red flag and you should take your child to your pediatrician. Eye contact is a big thing. Um, if your child, I know it seems very small, um, sometimes we say, oh, salam alaikum bolo, and you know, they just go off on their own, but actually it's a big deal. If they are not making eye contact, that is a red flag. Okay, moving on. Okay, four years old. Ian is four years old. Um, so if they can't jump in place, um, that is a red flag. Uh, when they're jumping off of something, they should land on both feet, right? Um, Ian, he falls. So he'll land on both feet, but kali, right? If they're falling a lot, then that is a red flag, okay? Um, shows no interest in interactive games or make-believe or ignores other children. Um, Ian used to do that. He used to... Uh, so Ariana, oh, onik mishuk. 
Ariana is his older sister, right? Onik Mishuk, and she was so excited when she had a little brother, but Ian, O Mishuk, uh, nah, right? O kali akla jaito. So that's something that is a red flag, and it's something that you should see your doctor about. Um, once again, the eye contact, resist dressing, sleeping, and using the toilet. That is a big red flag as well. Ian was potty trained at three years old. He was fine. Our akon o jodi ami baire niye jai o hago kore fela. Yeah. Ami oke playground niye gasi. Aar ami bar bar jigesh kori. Ian, tomar bathroom me jeta hobe. Tomar bathroom me jeta hobe. Ujo ekhane jeta pari pari amar akshate niye jabo. Aar o khali bolle na na. Tomar bathroom me jeta hobe na. No no no. Aar tapore hago kore fela. Are, that is a that is a problem. Are, I mean, um, doctor, shate yoga jo korsi aro kichu mindu korer na kichu hi bolen. I will say skittles rakho toilet er pashe aro o taile o jabe. Ha, are, I mean, oba koi gasi. I will say se kano amake. To kito ami chesta korsi kaj hai na. Jahan ami bolsi phone di bo, tahan o bolsi okay. Taile ami jabo. Kintu phone cha palo na to. <laughs> okay, next slide. <laughs> okay, so if they show extreme behavior, they're fearful, aggressive, shy, or sad. It balance night behavior mudde. That is a behavioral problem that should be addressed. Um, you know, they should be talking about their lives. They they should be sharing a, their lives with you. If they're not doing that, that's another red flag. Um, Ian doesn't want to talk about his um, experience. Every time I pick him up from school, which is every day, um, I say, Ian, how was your day? What did you do today? I don't want to talk. <laughs> so he doesn't like doing that. And um, I'm still trying to honestly figure out what's going on, to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, the reason that we're here is because we can learn together. So, uh, with that, does anybody have any questions about these red flags? Or does anyone want to contribute anything? Speaker panel, anybody want to say anything? Yes. I just want to talk about uh, eye contact because I'm talking about that a lot. So, uh, eye contact is very important from, from day one that they're born. Hello? Okay, sorry. You make eye contact, communication, that's one way to communicate with your child from day one. You read them stories that is so important that you start reading to them from day one. Even though you feel that they're not, they're not understanding, you're, they don't know what you're saying, they are understanding it. They're talking by babbling, blah, 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 whatever they're saying, because you're talking, they're talking. That's one way to also know if there are any red flags. So from zero to... Three, you know, from day one, like I said. So every, you know, milestone, that's how you monitor and see how they're doing, you know, with the communication. Because communication is the key. First thing you want to know is if they're being, if they're, the eye contact is what you know you want to be sure of to make sure that they have that eye contact with you when you're talking to them. Does anybody else have anything? Um, okay. Um, I guess from a therapist perspective, thank you for giving us the shout out for speech. But uh, I think sometimes, although a child may seem speech delayed, it could be other areas, like they can have very low muscle tone, so a PT can help, and then occupational therapist and speech, they all can help all together. Some of the things, uh, I was in early intervention, sorry. Sorry to interrupt you, can you just um, explain the difference between OT, PT, and speech therapy? Okay. So a physical therapist actually targets the gross motor skills. Gross motor po tamar ki bhabi. Gross motor holo je apna jump korte pare, bachchara darte pare, hatte pare, stable. Uh, everything uh, just air kum kore jodi bachchara hatte na pare, dorate na pare, khelte na pare, talo tar shikbe na. Occupational therapy. Occupational therapy holo actor bachchara occupation ki. Actor bachchara occupation holo bachcha. Sorry, my bangla is not very good. But, <laughs> but you know, she acted but she had to kill the part. She she told her that kaj. So an occupational therapy basically kaj your therapist. So to help them integrate into the community, to be a part of their family more. 
and their fine motor skills. Fine motor bane holo je, chamu chuthete parche ki na. Again, that's part of his occupation. Just you know, to eat, to feed himself, to tie his laces. And the last thing is speech therapy. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's very complex. It's a, not just talking, but also understanding. When you were talking about echolalia, mane hai pache to kotha bolle. Kintu jodi buchte na pare, then they also need speech. Um, I'm just gonna pass it and. <laughs> well, yeah, um, just like how she was saying, um, you know, in within speech therapy, there's a lot of different um, subsegments. So she was saying before, like receptive language is like the ability for the child to understand the expressive language, the ability for the child to um, speak, and then there's also the pragmatic language that you were speaking about, like the social cue, social emotional cues. But another thing that's also um, a lot uh, forgotten, but we had touched upon it earlier, is the uh, feeding and swallowing. So as a speech language pathologist, we also help with that. So um, earlier he was saying about like the sensory diet. So yeah, even though some occupational therapists may work on that, we I've done that too in early intervention. I've helped some of the kids like, you know, um, really explore different textures and even like, um, especially like even an 18 month old, like they, they're maybe really resistant to like, um, the crunchy textures and or they just have difficulty swallowing they'll hold it a lot like that's also another sign and then you know they might like choke from that or you know it's just not healthy so there's just a lot of different things that we can do so really like regardless of the issue if something's not typical like um and you I was saying earlier just report it to the doctor or call 311 and you know we'll figure out who is the right specialist for you whether it's a, a speech language pathologist or physical therapist or occupational therapist or even like a see it a special education uh, educator um we have aba services um um social workers it just it's the gamut so yeah whatever you need like there are services for that thank you What should I say? Question. Uh, one more comment about that. Oh, a I, 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 I still address me at my question. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Last comment about the motor skills because yeah. technically the oral piece, uh, the movement, uh, the, all of that aligns with one issue that all of the children technically, even speech delay, whether it's spectrum disorder, whatever, mitochondrial defect. So these children have been known to have mitochondrial defect. Now mitochondria is not a common word, Kintuitama, they're energy cells in our legs and our muscles. And if those energy cells cannot produce energy, then the muscle doesn't function. So even with that knowledge, there's beyond a sensory diet, you have to do things that will help the mitochondria improve. Definitely exercise helps, so PT and OT are helpful because that improves mitochondrial function. But oxidative stress in the body and the brain, which is inflammation, you surely do not want high carbohydrate, anti-inflammatory foods to be part of that diet. So uh, you know there are there are plenty of other um, you know tools besides a sensory or whatever. There's there are many dysfunctions, and sometimes a lot of the gut issues with the the toileting, the fact that. Uh, it's difficult not only because of the perception and the behavior and understanding the impulse to go to the bathroom. The motor tone, even in the rectum, is what allows someone to go to the bathroom and hold it. And they may not have the tone. It's not that they're having a bad behavior. They just can't hold their stool because they don't have motor tone. So, and, and the problem is then, uh, you know, that is a, a, a deeper conversation. The intestinal permeability, or most of the time they have a leaky gut. So they're very hypersensitive. Their immune system is super sensitive. It's not, it's not abnormal, it's very reactive. So if they're in their families, they may have other people that have allergies that are severe. And they may have another subtype. But they are very sensitive to certain foods and it's very important for parents to know what types of foods they should avoid and have a really good holistic nutritionist beyond a skill set that works with your pediatric doctor. Thank you so much, Dr. Rafiq. Amar, I have a lot of questions, and I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions, and I have a lot of questions, and I have a lot of questions, and I have a lot of questions.
কোন কোন খাবার মানে জানা আছে যে লেস ইনফ্ল্যামেটরি আঙ্কেল থেকে একটা প্রশ্ন ছিল সালামাইকুম আমি একজন প্যারেন্ট আমরা বাঙালি কমিউনিটি তো আমরা অনেক পিছনে আছি তো অনেক সময় বাবা মা জানে না যে কত বাচ্চার আসলে কি হয়েছে তো এবং ডাক্তারের কাছে পিরিয়ডে গেলে তো আমরা অনেক সময় ডাক্তারের কাছে যাই না দেশে চলে গেছে আসার পর দেখে গেছে বিগ চেঞ্জ হয়ে গেছে এই সিচুয়েশান দেখা যায় তো আমরা যারা ভুক্তভোগী অনেকটা আমরা জানি দেখলে বাচ্চা দেখলে অ্যাটলিস্ট বুঝতে পারে তো আমার কোয়েশ্চেনটা হচ্ছে কি মানে কত বছর বয়স থেকে এই এই সার্ভিসগুলো মানে আমরা নিতে পারি এবং আনটিল হাও লং বিকজ কেস টু কেস কেস টু কেস ডিফারেন্ট and they need probably some of them need little help some of them uh, for a long time help uh, constantly uh, like um, keep going and moving on the same thing over and over so this question is like how long we can take those services Uh, we have a section called what you can do uh, I'm sorry oh. do you want to just kind of should we just go to that section and, and then use as a visual move back yeah you can skip back all right so one of the things I kept kept asking a lot I think I'm going to reintroduce myself. I run an agency for New York State and New York City uh, you can refer your children of zero to a 18 years old at three services did everyone hear me okay so wait yeah it's going on and off but i'm going to try that again the first step you can do regardless of where you live is that seen is it better now okay i can i can speak you better the first step you can do regardless of koto bochor apnar bachcha 18 niche jodi hoy shobai rage 311 phone korbe डिपार्टमेंट early intervention e apnar prochur services apni jodi illegal illegal doesn't matter apnar bachchar insurance thakuk na thakuk doesn't matter it's free un ekjon mohila ache ami apnar naam bhule giyechi nashin siddiqui ha apni jodi nashin apur sathe kotha bole eta free eta apnar kono ar ki ki paben apni apni occupational therapy paben kindergarten i mean uh, uh, take care services paben physical therapy speech aba vision feeding apnar bachcha jodi na khay ha everything is free three porjonto acha apnar bachcha bosh choy right tin theke panch holo cpsc cpsc holo committee for preschool special education abhi apni matha narche na maybe you know so ekhon apnar bachcha different angle e chole jabe ekhon they are going to be part of the cpsc community again they going to get all the services evaluation everything is free all you have to do is make one phone call all right and they are going to provide you with as many services as possible আপনার বাচ্চা যদি 5 বছরের উপরে হয় দেন ইউ গো ইনটু সিএসসি কমিটি অফ স্পেশাল এডুকেশন হোয়াটএভার স্কুল দ্যাট পারসন ইজ ইন ইওর চাইল্ড ইজ ইন দে শুড বি এবল টু হেল্প अगेन ইফ দে ডোন্ট হেল্প কল 311 গেট মাই নাম্বার ফর ইভা ফ্রম ইভান এন্ড নিপা আই ক্যান অলসো হেল্প अगेन ইউ ক্যান গেট সার্ভিসেস এনি সর্ট অফ সার্ভিসেস দ্যাট ইউ নিড ওয়ান অফ দ্য থিংস আপ কমিউনিটি অর পিপল ডোন্ট নো ইজ দ্যাট your child can actually go to a private school for free okay your child if you do not like your child school where they are right now you have the right to sue new york city for reimbursement there are schools private schools that ch- charge $150,000 a year for children with autism but you can actually get reimbursed through new york city and new york state for free so i don't want to take up too much of my time talking about it but you don't have to send your child to whatever school they say apnar jodi oi school bhalo na lage teacher bhalo na lage apni sathe sathe তাদেরকে বলবেন আমি অন্য স্কুলে যেতে চাই টিল ইউ ফাইন্ড দ্য রাইট ক্লাস রাইট থেরাপিস্ট রাইট ট্রিটমেন্ট ফর ইওর চাইল্ড টু নট স্টপ 
speech therapist session miss you have the right to change that speech therapist. You have the right to change the school. As a matter of fact, you have a lot of rights. So I'm just going to stop here. And another thing I want to say is I love the title. It says, what you can do. You can do everything. It's for literally like all these services are free. I'm guessing you know you all have some sort of connection. You can do everything. You can help your child. I don't like to say that your kid have problems because all our children are different. They don't have problems. They have issues that needs to be dealt with in a different kind of way. And the other thing is you can include. You can include your child in everything that you do. There was one parent here with a son with autism. Is he here or did he leave? Okay, so that's also important for him to be here because it's very nice to have someone with the spectrum, a parent that's so brave that but it's very important to include them in the community, to include them in the conversation. All right. add one thing so like she was saying before there's like the private schools available but even within um, uh, CPSC there's a lot of things called like toddler developmental groups like let's say like they go to a typical preschool maybe in the summer like they want to do like a summer program those can also be free like if you want to try it out I know a lot of people like they might be a little nervous like oh I don't know like if my child goes to that kind of school so you can do a trial by trial basis you can try it in the summer first at I yeah. feel like you can do yeah. three on one for everything. Yeah. Call yeah. Everyone one and then they refer you to the Department of Ed uh, to your yeah. regional director. Yeah. So everyone's very, yeah, it's very like organized that way. That's just like the main number. Yeah, and there's even like like um, like mommy and me classes, like where like the parent can also sit in and be with the child while they're directing that. Because some um, cases like there's just not enough therapists in that area. So uh, parents, you know, what can they do? They want to then be involved. So there are those free classes, or even if you do get services, there's there you can do that as well. So there's just so many different things out there that are for free. You just have to call, find out, and just like I said, advocate you know just list all the issues and then they will find the right thing for you and let's say they can't help you like you, you'll be your own advocate you know look it up online you know um, just or talk to other professionals you know someone will help you you know don't fret <laughs> Yeah, they also provide free transportation. So uh, technically, uh, all the children are covered under the American Disabilities Act. So that's the legal statute that actually provides the document of why they have rights under the federal government to receive these services. The federal government provides the funds to New York City, and New York City then distributes it through the 311 mechanism in New York City. I left uh, in a different borough in Westchester, and I, I literally, if I didn't like, it wasn't a good fit, or there wasn't a right classroom, or even when there are special ed teachers, they're not always a good fit for your child. I've changed schools at least four or five times. He's moved out of district, you can absolutely do that. He's at a certain age now, we, we're gonna get an educational assessment again uh, privately. If your child is having behavioral issues, right? And that is part of um, the paradigm. I, you know, I didn't really kind of blow this up, but it's social behavior and language, right? So behavior is expected because it's part of this, I, you know, this complex. But do not, I personally don't agree that they should be I'm not a fan of the school psychologists through any board event. I want my child individually assessed with a private psychiatrist or psychologist. And you have every right to do that. Don't ever be forced if your child is having behavioral issues that they need to have the independent assessment. Well, you have insurance. If you, most of us, the children are covered under Child Health Plus. There is no reason a child isn't insured in New York City. So they should be able to, under Health First or what other provider they have, go to their own private psychologist and you can have that assessment done and you can say that I'm gonna do that independently. So it's up to you because I've had a little bit of the experience that sometimes they really don't have that perspective and if you see, feel like something is not right, you have every right to also deny certain things that 
you know, I'm going to re readdress this with someone else. And within the Board of Ed, even if you called up 311, there may be a delay. Uh, don't wait for them to call you back. There's a Board of Ed. You can go to Board of Ed and you can actually advocate in person. I would show up there. I, you know, if I had to, if I didn't get a response. They have to, by law, ask within two days. Technically, yeah. technically, but then there's a delay to service. So you, you still have to be on top of it. And I really, re really address that whole issue that no one should also medicate your child and push for that. There's a lot of this medication that I think on a very young level, a growing brain, which what we're talking about here is why children do so well. The brain has this ability to thrive. There's plasticity, there's growth. The effects of some of the psychiatric medication that they want to do to suppress the behavior, which is all part of their health impairment, is actually counterproductive to their brain function. So I really want to make that as a special recourse because I've had so many issues with the schools and uh, sometimes you have to advocate for that, you know? Yeah, you have to advocate for your child. Anybody else here? Any questions? Yeah, I have one question. So first you. All right. Um, I just want to uh, make a comment, another question, especially in regard to uh, the eye contact that we have been mentioned before. Especially working in the community for many years, I have seen one thing, because that is a social stigma, especially in my culture, is that uh, making eye contact is a kind of the other being. <laughs> because we are not born and raised in our culture like that. So that, that will be fine in the long run, but here in this society it's not. It's a red signal, number one. Number two is speech delay. It's, it's not just simply speech delay. It could be related to many other things. It could be mental retardation. It could be learning disability. It could be autism. And it could be ADSD. So Dr. Hilora is here, she can explain all the illustration there. But this should all together, combine together, and make a student to become a very less proficient in English or in speech. Thank you. I mean, 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 I Baki Pore Napore Mani Porashuna or Kumokisu Yehoena. Asia Musha. MDT Shababi shop is a second Mukama de Jorotase, Kotabol de Jorotahoi, Porashuna or Muteo Shoron Takena. Tamra, Okanonic Chintitasi, Baki Kurba, Amadel Cake to Kaitan, please. Okay, they should take again. Now, we just ask a tin bus together. We just take 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 a tin bus together. We Original speech therapy could help Kore. Our memory journal, if he already has some sort of issues and with his brain, like the structure of his brain, uh, therapy can help, but it, it's a more of a medical question. So speech therapy would help also with the memory and whatnot, but I would recommend talking to a neurologist about that. Okay. Yeah, I can add. Um, yeah, I was gonna say like if it's it, um, something like physically wrong with the brain, there's only so much therapy can do. If there's a issue, like we can only really help it. We can't like cure it, you know. So at that point, you, you sort of have to just understand that there's only so therapy should be helpful. Helpful, yeah. Like it's not to limit the child. You know, they can still do whatever they set their limits to, but just be aware there is something else going on. It's not just. You know. Yeah. 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 Ye
he still can see a neurologist but developmental neurologist because he still has to be diagnosed with the disability right because of the speech as well but he may have some uh, maybe birth trauma is another issue the the birth history is very important mane birth er shomoy onek shomoy oxygen jodi kom ha thake for a few minutes or or a second it has a big impact on the brain at that time so those issues are very limited so he will probably need an mri to look, assess his brain and also a full exam right so apni oi or insurance dio oi to shonge shonge eta check kora uchit regular pediatrician na specialist doctor i have a few questions uh, regarding the uh, if you give me a chance yes, this is please. your show we want you guys to yeah. thank you পিরিয়ড is totally non verbal and his autism spectrum now so we are going through a lot of different processes uh, like um, but uh, species uh, we can't make any progress in species like now he is bubbling but we need to know any other instrumental like things um, like we can get uh, from any source so this is one question thank you what's the topic So I'm a to speech pathologist. I have been treating children for almost 12 years now. I treat a lot of kids on the autism spectrum. Very very important for 6 and 1/2. Apni bollen apnar bachcha boish o kothay school e jay? Uh uh 295. Okay, special needs school e jay? আচ্ছা this and you know there's another speech therapist on board but yes uh, to kind of generalize what you're saying to the bachchara jodi kotha bolte na pare tader jonno ache assistive device eta holo computer egula onek expensive sare 6000 7000 dollar kore egula but eta bachchader jonno free through medicaid medicare so again if you have children that need help and there's also apps like pull up go to go and then there's also pex which is you know anyways i don't want to go into too many technicality but here i'll give it to yeah i was just going to mention like let's say um it's taken them a really long time to speak there are other options to say aac it's like alternative augmentative communication um sometimes uh we've done some sign language um it just help i mean with any even typical child you know you can start sign language that just helps to increase the communication um so you can try that um she was saying pex er- earlier that's like a picture communication based system um there are, besides like the electronic aac there's ones with like boards so there's so many different ways um 
that in the meantime, before you get the device that you can do, um, like she's saying, there's a lot of apps. Like you can even like look it up, like on clip art. You know, you can print pictures. Like let's say, like they really um, are highly motivated by motivated by a certain kind of food, right? Like what's like their favorite food? Uh, food. Oh. until maybe you can uh, switch to another school, what you can do is like, there are other um, clinicians that can increase uh, the speech. Like for example, like I would work with um, um, the, um, the see it, you know, the special education uh, educator, right? They, are, they don't just do speech, they also work on like, you know, pre-academic skills, but they're also helping to increase ABA therapists, right? do um, behavior and speech. So in the meantime, until you're able to switch to a school, you can perhaps ask for other additional services. So let's say you get your child has speech twice a week, they have ABA um, three times a week, they have the C at one time a week, you know, PT once a week, occupational therapy like one time a week. So with all of those services together, if you guys can work as a team to talk about, oh, my child is not like speaking, what else can I do? Well, you can tell those therapists to work together to maybe focus on certain things that the child needs, you know, like maybe just work on like really simple um, communication, like, and like have all of them work on that same word or that same function. You know, in the meantime, like she was saying, like you do have the right to get as much as you need, but in the meantime, like you just, you, you also don't want to stall. You know, so if they work in an interdisciplinary team, they can all like work together to, you know, help your child succeed in the meantime. So, yeah. Uh, one more question. Sure. If you give me time. Sure. <laughs> like, uh, we having everybody having these issues, and like my child is growing, everybody's child is growing, and uh, if we can put them in a like basket in the on the home. They're not gonna like socialize, so we need some sorts of resources, like where you can take them, like uh, for swimming classes, for like gym classes, for those special needs class and uh, students, uh, child, and all the, like some other. I don't know anything about it, but I'm trying to get those things like sources where we can take them, like for more socialize. They can be self dependent. Like, yeah. Okay. That's, thank you. Yeah, of course. So basically, um, you know, that's working on their pragmatic skills, their social skills. There are lots of social skill groups that are also through. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, CSC at this point. Yeah, there are some social groups that you could do through private pay, uh, pay or um, there are um, just in general, like if, if they have other friends, you can just together, like all of them come together to do a group. In regards to you're saying like to swimming or karate or other things, um, you can ask. There are some places like the YMCA, they might 
special classes that give specifically only to those children that might have like a sensory overload. Not every single place will have it, but some will definitely like cater to those needs. You just might have to ask around, or like I said, maybe the 311, like maybe they will know exactly those area, uh, those places that have those classes. Um, some of those are free, but some of those you might have to pay out of pocket, but at a lower rate. Um, um, besides that, I would know more about that. So I'm actually going to give you a phone number. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, 646-385-8500. 646-385-8500. This is the phone number for Autism Speaks. Autism Speaks is a very powerful organization. It's a nationwide organization and they will give you all the information you need. Our kids on the spectrum, they don't have to sit at home. Please make sure they don't sit at home, okay? There are swimming classes, there are social groups, and they're all, most of them are free. And, or they'll make sure it's free. There's something called Snack, where you can take your older children and you can drop them off. shopping supervised play There are sensory gyms all over town. So call Autism Speaks and they will help you find the providers in your area, in Queens or wherever you live, and where you can take your children. Again, please take your kids out. They, you know, they deserve a fun, happy life. Thank you. Thank you. These are great questions. Yes, please. Also, if you have any children that you could take care, you know, because I know uh, uh, we all have to work, you know, as a working parents, we have to put our children to the daycare, you know. But also, daycare provider is a role. I don't see state uh, uh, certified, you know, child care provider, uh, like 31 years plus years. So, uh, I also um, gave idea to parents if they need, you know, uh, delay, some children is delay or something, because I... Uh, make a note, you know, this uh, this ch children have something, something. So I had one children like uh, like about four years before that problem. So uh, I live in a Rockland County, so it's called Joanio, you know. I don't know, uh, Farhana would know about that. So um, uh, I don't, because I don't live here, so I don't know about here what they have, you know, there's any facilities. So Joanio, they have also this kind of uh, facilities that children have special, they take you from home. Like, I have a daycare that they comes to the bus and uh, three, like uh, nine, uh, nine o'clock they pick the child from my, my place and they take it there and then they have, she had like three hour class including um, gym, uh, swimming and uh, socializing with the other children. And they bring you back to my place and parents will uh, bring back end of the day. And it's great service and she was premature baby, and she had uh, uh, special education, she had OT, PT, speech, everything. And she's great now, like, you know, they come sometimes visit me, like, all the way from other state, and she's doing wonderful. So I don't know about here, what is they have it, but we have there is a, I, I had, a, you know, um, experiences about Joanna is called, you know. So, thank you, thank yeah. you for letting everybody know about it. Sure. Thank you. Um, we're five minutes from the end of the session, but there's still a little bit more that we want to cover. Is it okay if we finish? Are you guys okay with that? Okay, great. Um, thank you. So, um, thank you for all of that. Um, in terms of what you can do, um, so can you move forward? Next slide. Yes. So we talked about early intervention. Um, we also talked about... CPSC, um, and um, we also have slides on what to do if your child's in kindergarten. Um, so we didn't go step by step yet into the process. Um, would you guys mind um, going through what exactly um, happens after you make that call um, to 311, um, just so people who haven't um, gone through the system know what to expect? Um, so early intervention, when you make the phone call, you say, like I said um, before, um, uh, you just tell them I need help, uh, for someone to come see my child. I feel like uh, he or she has a delay in such and such area. So what they do is they send out a, a 
uh, early intervention specialist uh, to your home or wherever you feel comfortable, and they will come and assess your child. Again, with, without any cost, it's, it's a free service, and they will, uh, if they see there is a delay in like, reading, writing, anything, cognitive um, skills, they will um, give you um, a referral, which I do, I give referrals as well if I see a child. Uh, has some sort of delay, uh, and so, uh, so like I said, then they start the class depending on the service uh, your child may need. So, pretty much so. They just come to your house and help you with whatever you need. Mm -hmm. IEP, right, individual ed education plan around your child. But that's early intervention, that's I have family center service plan, yes. So uh, the early intervention is specifically from zero, I mean, you know, the, the area I cover is zero to three, and after that, uh, the other, uh, what do you call that? C yes. Okay. All right, so she just covered early intervention, which is from zero to three. After that, at three years old, when you, on your child's third birthday, uh, you're going to be referred to the committee for preschool special ed. They take over, and after that, when your child turns five, we call it turning five, your child will be referred to Committee of Special Education. Uh, the, all these are very seamless. I think if I try to give too much information today, it's not going <laughs> to... Yeah, in the brochure, it's a very well-written brochure. I mean, good job. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say too, like it, they, they outline in the brochure and even afterwards they show it by district, like depending on, like it's on um, the later slides, like depending on your district, those are the services that are available to you. Um, um, Dr. Uh, Laura was saying, uh, Laura, sorry, was saying that like, you know, let's say you can't find someone with, they can look um, out of your district too, I mean, it depends on whatever you prefer. So there's just so many things that... Um, yeah, I would say really like take the time um, to go through it. I mean, there's even more information online, but you know, you did a great job like really making it concise and clear. Um, yeah, so. We also have sample referral letters. Um, so if you need to write a referral letter, but you don't know what to write, we have it in there for you. We sent you the referral letter so you can use it as a guide. Um, uh, it, when you send in the letter to refer your child for e an evaluation. So you get an evaluation and then, oh, can you guys talk about um, uh, what qualifies you for it, uh, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, this one's a tricky one. Um, so what's going to happen? I'm going to be up me bowling. I'm going to be up me bowling. You're going to call 311, they're going to assign you a service coordinator. How you get qualified is based on how well your child, or not well, I should say, your child does on those standard tests. It's very, very standardized. So the apnar bacha bhalokoroi test, tahole apnar kuno services pabimna, which is not a bad thing. But to the apnar bacha once two standard deviation niche take. Tawle services pabin. So it, it's the qualifier is based on the test they will give your child, basically. Oh, I was just going to add to that. Let's say um, they might be very severe in one area. Like, for example, if they're severe in speech, there might be two standard deviations below the mean. But let's say they're only um, a little bit low in speech and a little bit low in PT and a little bit low in OT. Like, um, the the area in those areas it might be like 1.5 standard deviation below the mean so what that means is like they're sort of weak in two or three areas so they might qualify that way or they're just strongly um weak in one area then they also qualify but let's say yeah they didn't qualify but you're still noticing these um issues you can always do it through private pay or uh, what i've had a lot of parents do is um you know there's like different classes that they can take that Sometimes will ha uh, naturally help the child to, you know, be uh, like walk more and socialize more and just do those things. And sometimes after that, they don't need any services. But let's say you do all that, those things, those social groups, and there, there's still something wrong. Then you can always refer and for them to do it again. I've had parents that, you know, at age one they've done it, they didn't qualify. Age two they didn't, they didn't qualify. Finally, they by age three, the um, gap is so big at that point that they qualify. 
So yeah, you do not need to wait until then. You can always, you know, supplement on your own, but like don't hesitate. Don't be like, oh, they didn't qualify the first time. I'm just going to stop. There's nothing wrong with my kid. No, I tell all my parents, whether um, they were in EI or CPSC or CSC, like at any point, even if it's years and years have gone by, because sometimes kids, they'll be very good to a certain point and then they'll start regressing again, you know, like those skills were there and then now they're going back. So at any point you feel like your child is um, getting behind, you can always tell them to reevaluate them and they can get it again. I've had that. Like they'll, they had um, services when they were a child and then they were went to a regular school and then later on in life, maybe in like middle school, they qualified for services again. You know, they just, um, you know, needed that help and then maybe they'll get it for a few years and they won't get it again. So don't ever feel like at any moment like, okay, well, they, you know, reach all their milestones and they don't need it anymore. Like, this is, like I said, a free service. So anything that they're getting is going to be helpful to them, you know? Don't hesitate. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So um, the main thing that I also wanted to say is please do look through the brochures that we gave you, specifically under what you can do, because there's a lot more information that's in there that we didn't cover um, today um, just because oh, we don't have that much time honestly and we want to um, hit most of the major points that we want to talk about um, very quickly we're going to go over obstacles okay so there are a, a ton of obstacles that um, unfortunately I face still um, and that our community faces and um, it, the first obstacle is lack of awareness. You just don't... Oh, Yvonne, can yes. you please talk about this? I was looking for you. Sure. Can I just go to the right one? Yep. We have a challenge. We have to talk about it. 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 We have so, on a my, I'm on the Proton Unisham Boy Jaman Janat Hagan. The Atskir Pore Joto Bhaibon Atse, Apnade, Pitu J. Bulbin. Ekan Eshe, I'm on their Charpat John, expert Trojan, I'm on the audience of Dutin John. Show me later in the Alton of Hitsi. Amar Batsan, Ether Batsan, Apnade Batsan, Amra Joto in the Alton of Corbo, Oder Monday, Eta Shop Normal Hajabi. A conversation will Second Jinish, denial that there is any delay. It is a mother Jonah Kubi Gosta. It has Shikhar Kishana Kondesh, Shik the Presiter does nothing to do with anything. Ekanamother Shabai, Kinamakuru at a portion of Rashi Ekan. With the Malabahe, Jokonoi Kobota, Shamoto, Ashakuri Jet, true now. So we denial to a mother Jonah Kubi at a challenge. That's it. Next up, cultural stigma. American, Shabai, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Tibet, Nepal. Even for Spanish, black, white. I'm a Shabai, I'm the Bible. Into Onik Shamai, I'm the Egulani, Alutana Korte, Sharm Lagi. I'm a Jodi Boli, I'm a Chenner Kono Shamasha. I'm a mother shop, Tatila. Pira, Mamara, Tatara, Amake actor Dosh Dibe, or Mother Ke Pasta Dosh Dibe. Gustento, it is a tick now. Maria to Kostokore, Judy Kushama Shahai, Shangashai, or Mato Yahabiko, Langa Dixi Erekum, Dawatu. Jano or Babakin to Erekum Mamsh. Konokotharak the parent. Jete Amra Bolte Pari, Amata Bhai de Shaman, the Babi de Shaman. কিন্তু একটা ছোট বাচ্চার সমস্যা এটা মা বাবার সাথে কোনো সম্পর্ক নেই তো ওই জিনিসটা আমাদের কথা থেকে বের হতে হবে আর এই জিনিসগুলো আপনাদেরই সব যে বেশি হাত এই চেঞ্জটা করানো আজকে পরে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ব্যারিয়ার আজকে আমরা এখানে বাংলায় কথা বলছি উই আর ডুইং আওয়ার বেস্ট টু মেক শিওর एवरीथिंग ইজ অলসো ইন মেনি ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজেস and it is our city. Take our own journey. Translation near up in the journey of Bangla. What's it? So, Jotoy obstacles thug day. Jotoy, our should you thug with shop kitchen day at the summer shop thug the party. 
I just wanted to say there is, uh, that from the Department of Health, we use language line to translate. So if you're not comfortable speaking Bangla, I mean English, there is Bangla, Arabic, all languages available through language line. That's what we, we, we work with. Uh, final finally, mental health. Mental health, to amra jokhon chinta kori. Mental health, mane na amma to Bangla actor kotha. Oh, pagul man. What the hell is that? Jaan jaan, mane health care chaki korte. Mental health the oni kicho ase. Actor manush gombi hoy le tamare na je depressed. একটা মানুষ তো হয়েছে হলে তার মানে যে বাইপোলার তো ওরকম জিনিস একটা মানুষের এই বাড়িতে ডিভোর্স হয়েছে এই মানুষের বাড়িতে ওই বাচ্চার এটা হয়েছে এই মানুষের বাসায় ওর ছেলে মেয়ের এটা হয়েছে এই সমস্যা নিয়ে আছে হয়তো বা ড্রিংকস নিয়ে একটু সমস্যা চলছে কলেজে পড়ছে এরকম জিনিস যখন হয় एकुला तो आमादेर कोनो ऑनलाइन किचुना। एकुला तो एक ता अनेक जो अनेक शो में एक ता समस्या जेटा आमादेर हाथेर बाईने जिकन आमर सपोर्ट दिए, अम्मर आमादेर आत्योशन जिंदगी के आगे ते पार को। ये रकम जोकन हॉय। अम्मर जो भी उल्टा दोष दी तो शुरू करे। माँ देर के, बाबा देर के, बाप चा देर के। তখন তো কারো সাহায্য হচ্ছে না তো এটাই একটা চিন্তা করতে হবে আর একটা মেন্টাল হেলথ নিয়ে আমাদের মা বাবাদের জন্য দরকার যখন একটা বাচ্চা বাড়িতে একটু সমস্যা নিয়ে অসুস্থ হয়ে বড় হতে হচ্ছে একটা মায়ের যে কষ্ট প্রত্যেক দিন বাবার যে কষ্ট প্রত্যেক দিন আমার ওখানে বোন ওখানে আমার ছোট চাচুর সাথে এখন সময় দিচ্ছে আস্তে আমার ওই চিঠি লেখার পরে সঙ্গে সঙ্গে আমাদের একটা হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ গ্রুপের তিনজন মিলে বাবারা আমাদের ছেলেদেরকে নিয়ে আলোচনা করে শুধু তিনজন আমরা বাবারা তো আপনারা যারা যারা বাবারা আসছেন আপনাদের মধ্যে একটা সাপোর্ট টেক্সটে হোক আর একটা বাবা যদি পান এরকম সিচুয়েশনে যদি আপনার বাড়িতে একদিন এরকম একটা এপিসোড হইল ওই ভাইয়াকে টেক্সট করে হ্যাঁ আমার বাড়িতে এরকম করলো কি করা যাবে ওরা আপনাকে আগে একটা শেয়ার করলো একটা পছন্দ আমি আজ গতকালকে পাঁচ দশ মিনিট এর এটাই করলাম ওর হাজবেন্ডের সাথে আমার আর ফ্রেন্ডের সাথে আমরা কিন্তু ওর একটু ক্লোজ না এখনও কিন্তু এইটা নিয়ে আমরা কিন্তু এখনও কানেক্টেড সবসময় সো মেন্টাল হেলথ নিয়ে আমাদের কোনো সময় লজ্জা করা উচিত না স্মরণ করা উচিত না কোনো প্রশ্ন আছে এটা নিয়ে Um, so for, thank you Ivan for going through the obstacles. I think it's very important to go through the obstacles um, because things like denial, for example, it can prevent you from getting your child the help they need for, in my case, a year. I waited one year because I was in such denial. When Ian was 18 months old, his babysitter told me, hey, he's not talking. You need to go see a speech therapist, you know, you need to talk to a physician, and I didn't do anything. Um, the physician at two years said, hey, go to early intervention. I still didn't do anything. A physician told me, and I still didn't listen. I waited one year. When he was finally three, he got the help. Imagine what would happen if he got it at 18 months. Right? So um, I think that it's important to be our child's biggest advocate. Um, like Ivan so nicely put it in the beginning of the presentation, fight for your child. Nobody else is going to fight for your child except for you. You're the one who can start um, ending the stigma and changing the conversation around um, you know, early intervention and childhood delays. It starts with you. Um, and it doesn't mean that the burden is placed on you, but we have children that are, you know, uh, special and they need a little bit of extra help and that's okay. Um, but at the end of the day, if we don't, uh, if we're not our biggest, uh, children's biggest advocates, then they're not going to get the help that they deserve. 
So um, thank you for coming here. Before we close the program, I want to hand it off to Ivan for any closing remarks and our speakers for closing remarks. Before I continue, can I please add a warm round of applause for the host of today, our I will say a final thing. Very quickly, Jodio, we are here to be our own child's biggest advocate. We are also here to become the advocate for our neighbor's child. Jokon Amadir Bari Pashe Amadar neighbor Koshovitse, or our confusion, or our Kanakati, or our Boyate. After all, to show my dear other Hadri Janabin, Ivade, Ivade Koro, three one one, three one one phone Koro, Ayalaka, A service Ache, Oyalaka, A service Ache, A diet, Tik Kutapale, Oishamashaka Kumtapale. So, this is not about our children today only. It's really for your neighbor's child, your brother's child. You have to have the conversation. I'll start off on this side and then we'll end with Dr. Rafiq. Um, I just want to say thank you all for coming today. We really enjoyed and learned so much together. Um, I just hope moving forward we take what we learn and we pass it on. We give it to our neighbor, we give it to our cousin, we keep teaching and learning. And I think we just started with this one workshop and in the future I hope to see so many more. Hi, so um, just like she was saying earlier, um, um, like she had waited a year, uh, even after getting advice from the babysitter and from the doctor. And one thing I just want to remark about that is that intervening earlier is better. Okay, so when the child is developing, and even well, what uh, the doctor was saying earlier too was uh, the neuroplasticity. You know, that's when you have it the most. So you know, when you're intervening earlier, like you can make progress faster, and it'll stay longer. It's not to say like, oh, like all is like all hope is gone if you wait until you're older, but it's just, it's better that way. So I feel like it's always better to be safe than sorry. You know, if worse comes to worse, they don't qualify, that's fine. You know, but at least you did what your gut told you to do. Um, I would say in terms of with my last remarks, I know we didn't end up going through this slide of what you can do to help your child at home. I just want to touch base upon that is that there's so much you can do while you are trying to get services and while even your your child is getting services. Um, I'm not going to read through all the slides, but basically just play with them, you know, uh, do make believe, you know, do puzzles, do sing songs, um, you know, you can use a lot of like dialogic reading, like read books, ask them questions, like it doesn't have to, you don't have to read the book like verbatim, like this is what happened, like if you see a color that they're like, oh, like what color is this, or what are they doing, then, and then as they get older, tell them, like, oh, what happened, like you tell it to me, now you read it, especially like little kids, like you think like, oh, um, like a one-year-old doesn't need a book, give them pictureless books, there are ones that, you know, are like soft, or they have like um, little sensory things, like little mirrors, um, you just want them to get used to being around print you know like that's one of the things that helps kids to read and write it's like print awareness and so like just don't like treat the kid like a kid but at the same time like don't also like like talk to them like a baby you know talk to them in complete sentences like whatever you're saying to like um your other older children or your husband and your wife talk to them like that you know like just model that good appropriate language you know that whatever you say is whatever they're gonna say you know but if you're talking to them like a baby like oh I see you or, and you know you could say oh I see you and then we're you know expand on that you know don't just say basic language like, even if they're not saying it back they're understanding it or they will understand you know so I would and if you feel like you need help you know besides getting the different um, therapies you need there's so many things on the internet so many things, especially like YouTube. There's so many videos that model what to do. Um, like the th once you have therapy, the therapist will also model. You can sit and watch them. But even like if you know they're doing something and you want to find more about it, you you can just explore on your own. There's just so many things to so be creative. Make it up. You know, like I feel like that's what kids like the most. They just want to bond with you. They just want to learn from you. So you just do the the best that you can. You know, but just. Don't just um, do the, the basic thing, you know, really go out there and just try new things and 
just whatever you can to support your child. So yeah, that's basically my takeaway to help your child. And you know, I'm very grateful to um, allowing you guys to have me on your panel. And if you have any like questions or concerns, you can always contact me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, my turn. Apna ne bache shoshet the lache. Shawar bache lache. Apna shoshet the ler malish. <laughs> it's literally the best thing you can do for a little child because you have a bond with the child. You have a child with autism or they don't like to be touched. But you have a child with the child, you have a child with the child. Sorry, I'm off topic. But it's actually an occupational therapy, speech therapy and PT all in one. Our favorite show should tell. <laughs> um, I think, thank you all. I want to thank the parents. Uh, I have a daughter, she's five years old. She was very medically fragile. And I have gone through this whole system of CPSC, EI, all this stuff. She's doing great now. But um, what I want to say is as a parent, it's really tough. It's a uh, thank you, Nipah Nipah, for bringing it up. No one takes into account the caregiver trauma. The fact, like, you know, I want to read songs to my child, I, I want to read books to my child, I want to do this and this, but when the child is not reciprocating, it's really, really tough. But this is what we need to do. This is why we're here. Even if you're exhausted, there's help out there. People will come and help you. People will come and motivate you. You know, take care of yourself, take care of yourself first. And please be kind to your neighbors. Let's form a strong Bangladeshi community. My friend who's from Ireland, when I tell her about how Bangladeshis react to autism, she like laughs at me. She's like, really? Why would they say that? Why would they do that? I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> but, uh, but I know Bangladeshis are very kind people and we can get past the stigma. The other thing I want to talk about is I was a presenter at the United Nations a couple of years ago and there was a 26-year-old girl. She, had, she has autism. One of the things she said is that if your child needs glasses, would you delay giving them glasses? The answer was no. If your child needs braces, would you delay it? But if your child needs therapy, we delay it. But why? Because it's the same thing. Because we think it doesn't help. But trust me, I'm going to tell you it helps. You may, your child might not talk in a year, but it will help with regression. It helps so much. One more thing. We need to include our babies and all the young adults, there's Marjan there sitting right there so bravely with Krishna. And we have to include them. We have to include them in our community. So what if they flap their hands? So what if they, I, when Marjan came in, I didn't see a child with autism. I saw a child that was really happy to be here. And he was eating shingara. He's so sweet. He I told me he wanted water. So I think that's the first step of acceptance is inclusion. Lastly, I want to thank our host and hostess. I used to hate this one saying. It said, special children are give, given to special people. I didn't like that. <laughs> but I believe it. Thank you for handling this with so much kindness and care. And you guys are a great voice in the community, and we need you. Thank you so much. Hi. OK, so as a supervisor, what I always tell my parents uh, when I see them is, always monitor your ch children's milestones. So I actually have this app that I want to share. Uh, it's the CDC milestones. So if you want to, it's a really good milestone. I even do it for my child. So it's really good. It tracks, you know, every milestone, you know, like zero to three, two to six, nine to 12, and so on. So you want to start monitoring your child from day one, like I said. And like I said, I know eye contact is not something Bungalis do, but that's one of the key points to, um, you know, feeling something might be wrong if they're not contacting uh, you with I. But yes, so milestone. Monitor. Sorry? Can you repeat it? Oh, okay, sorry, yes. CDC Milestones app. We write down everything on the uh, Center for Disease Control yeah. and Intervention. Sure it's a really good, yeah, um, tracker. So um, uh, I just want to say thank you for having me here. This was a lovely workshop. I learned a lot from you ladies here, and uh, I, I hope that we were able to help everybody here. And you guys are amazing. Love you guys. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Hey, um, I really echo all of my uh, panelists, um, really just support of Ivan and Nipa, and thank you for putting this together for us to also 
uh, create this kind of dialogue and to have the openness. Actually, we really need an opening in our community to embrace these special children. And um, personally, it comes from our own journeys, but because we have all had that and we have that kind of compassion. But I think what we've shown here tonight is that we see, and I'm very proud of the, the fathers, because I know when, uh, when my, our charity situation to, you know, he, my, fa my husband also had very, and still to this day, has a very hard time coming to a workshop or being, acknowledging it. Um, I think the most important thing is to confront it, embrace it, um, learn as much as possible, and find all the resources you, you need. But don't, um, don't support, don't miss out supporting their social needs, especially because um, one thing I thought of when uh, I think the gentleman talked about his son, six and a half, sometimes when they regress, you know, my son is 17 now, he's 5'10", he's almost six feet tall. They still think he needs OT, I doubt it. <laughs> but it's funny, but you know, they are a subject of bullies. They are bullied by other children. Um, it's very hard to see that they're not embraced in play groups. Um, so they face a lot of struggles emotionally and uh, the social anxiety. So a lot of these children can overlap. The, they may have severe allergies. They have possibility of having some attention deficit. That's an overlap syndrome as well as social anxiety disorder. So it's, it's also very important to piece some uh, mental health for the child, and if someone stops talking also that had made progress, take them to a psychologist because maybe there is a bullying situation or something else is happening. And the biggest challenge I've had is sometimes also caregivers in the schools don't have the kind of compassion they need. Uh, even though they're in the field, uh, believe it or not, not everybody has the compassion for children, and these children can't speak for themselves. So, you know, we do have very vulnerable children who are in settings where they're really, they're really giving up their freedom to the community of caregivers at school. And not everybody understands or, or are under aware of their sensory needs and sometimes they'll be disciplined at school, sometimes they can be suspended at school. All of these things are not allowed. You can actually fight every single thing and I've had to do that. So, the, the emotional piece is very important, I think. And, and it really is a big thing. The, the lastly, the stigma, I think we've really kind of cleared that today by just opening this conversation. But I do think that um, the children themselves, the more they know that they are normal, because my son to this day, I mean, there's no labels. You know, we, the, I think the biggest blessing is you guys also have a sibling who's very close in age. My son and his sibling, his brother who's about 14 months or 18 months between them. Um, you know, honestly, the, he's just who he is. He's uniquely different. And there is nothing wrong with him, and that's how he presents himself. And he has such confidence and, and such demeanor. And, you know, uh, taking his senior picture in high school, I was really, the biggest thing was, as we talked about eye contact very often, this was the first year, like, he looked at the camera. He looked so, like, amazing and confident because even taking a school photo, I have so many years of looking at the school photos, and he wouldn't look at the cameraman, you know? And that's, you know, you wanna see a nice picture. Your other children are taking the pictures, you wanna put them together in the wall, and you're like, oh, he doesn't look at the camera. It's the same issue. So these are very subtle things, and I wanna reiterate, caregiver stress. This is why it's really good what Ivan said. You know, parents that have met here tonight, stay in touch. I've also done the same with other people that, you know, at that time, many years ago, I didn't have anybody that was going through it. I had to find other people that I knew that might be of support to me. But they really studied this caregiver stress and our telomeres shorten, which means that, you know, it's affecting our health as parents. It's the biggest stressor is to be a parent of a child with special needs. So take care of yourselves first because you won't have the ability to really, it's, it's a long process, but don't give up. Sometimes there'll be exhaustion. Sometimes there'll be a lot of giving up, like you feel really worn down some days. But you know, it will call a friend, like he said, Ivan. And you know, I think more than anything is just having the support of others and normalizing, like he said, this is 
something we have to accept. This is part of the community. But the children are reflecting what's happening in our environment too. So sometimes if there are special needs and they're having these gut issues and this uh, sensitivity issue, it's because our environment is also changing. We need to know about the toxins in our environment and our homes. That's a big piece of it. And I'd like to share some resources with Ivan and Nipa, whatever I can do to maybe put together something on a handout or something or an email that they can share with all, all of you later. But most importantly, like finding the right tools, you know, to really help. So if anybody has any questions about those, I'll be happy to answer them later. Thank you. So thank you. Um, আমরা যদিও এখানে এই পর্যন্তটা শেষ আমাদের বিভিন্ন প্যানেলিস্ট আছে তো আপনারা যদি প্রাইভেটলি কোনো কথা বলতে যাবেন এর পরে আপনারা অবশ্যই আসতে পারবেন তার আগে তুমি 